See you in the garden. Well, hi guys, welcome back to another garden tour. Just a few seedlings going on now. Everything's pretty much full. Um, but some more stuff coming on. Garlic chives. Um, trying to grow some Panama gold passion fruit there. Uh, what's in here? Oh. It's, um. There we go. You got to focus. Anyway, just a few um, ceilings there. I just want to show you at the front where the fruit trees are. What's going on there? So, I've lost a bit of time there, but looks like the rosemary's going good. Oh, go now. And these are chives. I'm fighting the snails off here. But uh, the bay tree's coming back. Slowly. The figs. And they're starting to shoot off very nicely. We've got some, some lettuce in the bottom there for seed. This is... Um, Bare root trees that I had, that's uh, the pear. What else we got? Now something's eaten <laughs> my um, avocado tree. But we'll see what happens with it. Uh, we've got ginger and, or should I say, glangle and turmeric in here. And this is the nectarine tree. It's not shooting yet. This is the... Oh, seem to have lost the tag for that. Can't remember what it is. Ah, I think that's the peach. Oh, this is the peach. It's a dwarf peach. Where's that tag? It's in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's an apricot. There. And my apple. All starting to shoot. Very happy. And my orange over here. Down the flower. Very nice. All right, let's get down the back. Get it out the back. All these um, lettuce are growing in the pavers. <laughs> We're picking them out and putting them in the hydroponics. Oh, Luna, Luna, where you going, darling? Right. So. Grapes, a few more here for seeds, different plants, tomatoes that I um, transplanted yesterday, uh, just some odd, odd things here, that's a, a purple chilli, that one there, come along well, paprika, um, and these are the bird's eye chillies. But uh, this black Isabella, black Isabella grape, is starting to uh, to show leaves and signs of growth. Very pleased. So hopefully we'll have uh, some nice grapes. And I've just got a trellis rigged up here, all along the side of the shed to train it on. Right, a lot of these seedlings came out of. A compost bin. So that's good. I've got my chilies along here. Uh, potatoes all planted in 
This bed, these are Kinnebex. I've got more potatoes down there too, but we'll have a look at those later. Mint, zucchini, carrots in succession, small zucchini, uh, button squash, bit of silver beet there. I've got some turmeric in here. Grew pretty well there last year. Uh, more thyme and mint. Kohlrabi, which is looking really nice. Let's uh, see if we can find one in here. Beautiful, been eating that. Gorgeous. Right, let's have a look at the strawberries on this NFT. So they're just starting to make nice strawberries. They seem to be going pretty well there. We're we'll eating a couple of those tonight, I think. Let's head down. More mint. Shabozzles here. Um, this is Italian parsley, it's all uh, growing there all by itself. More strawberries in here, more strawberries here, uh, more strawberries here. Bok choy seed, um, onion seed. Uh, yellow zucchini there, I think. And I've got um, some ginger in here, but not showing any signs yet. Now, NFT strawberries and lettuce. Plenty of lettuce. This lettuce here is like, um, it's some sort of Italian lettuce. I don't know exactly what it is. But it's the closest thing you'll get to iceberg lettuce, and it's beautiful. More strawberries up here. More lettuce, tatsoi. And they're looking really nice. Look at that tatsoi there. Let's get out of the sun. Just beautiful. Uh, got some dill coming on here. A whole row of it here. More strawberries. Different kinds of lettuce. Uh, kale. Leeks. A few drums of leeks. They're starting to pump now, they're getting some sun. These are the onions I planted from sets. Onion sets. If I look in there, I don't know how they're going to go, but um, they look like they're starting to bulb. Hope you'll get some good onions out of those. And nasturtium over there. Uh, now, along the back here, I've just planted beans. And in the front here um, are royal blue potatoes, all in wicking hydroponics. Uh, they did well on those last year. I was pretty happy with the yield. Uh, up, the, up the back here, I've got a new garden bed in along the chook pen here. I can get this camera to work. Um, got a cucumber on each end. I don't know. I just didn't have anywhere else to put them. I just whacked them in there. Cucumber on each end. But these are all um, uh, indeterminate cherries of all different colours. So... I'll get those and then I can uh, really enjoy those. Uh, getting lots of lots of limes on the lime tree. You'll notice I got rid of the other lime tree. Blocking too much sun, it was having a hard time, but uh, plenty of flowers going on there. We got some rain, knocked a heap of flowers off, as you can see. Bit of parsley there, bit of parsley there. Oregano, garlic, 
So these garlic are getting up to their tenth leaf. And I don't know. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I don't know if they're going to escape up or what's going to go on. But I'll be pleased if I get the escapes as well. Most of them are doing okay. And these ones here are planted later. Don't know why I'm getting yellow chips, but anyway, we'll see what sort of yield we get out of those. Now here I have um, Swedes. So there's not much going on down on the bottom there yet. They're just starting to bulb up now, I think. But they're looking nice and healthy. Oh, some other onions there. They got decimated by slugs in the beginning, so they're really slow. You can see where they've eaten the tops off them. Anyway, now I won't open up the hydroponic onions. These other hydroponic in the in the, this, I'll call it a greenhouse. Maybe you can see through. I don't know. But they, they are really nice and green on top. And hopefully we get good bulbing. We should do. I don't see why not. Now, greenhouse number two. So here we go. Silver beet's raging. Just love silver beet. Just going off. Here we go. Now I've got uh, a cucumber on each end. There's one on that side there. One on this side. Uh, snow peas. Just starting to flower. We're enjoying those just for us. Uh, tomatoes. Uh, these are big beef, I think. Pretty sure. And the old mortgage lifter, I think I stuck in there. So um, they're just starting to flower as well. Just got the buds on them. So very pleased with them. Right, greenhouse number one. Uh, before we get there, we've got the lime tree here. Still giving off lots of limes, but uh, might have to give that a prune soon. It hasn't really um, started to grow in the spring. We'll see what happens. All right, now, greenhouse number two. So I've got some mint here, more mint. Oh, and we started my little duckweed farm. See there, and it looks like it's um, getting bigger. What's that tomato fell off? Looks like they're um, reproducing quite well. But once I get it really covered, it's going to be good cooked food, and I'll just propagate. I don't know how many I'm going to do. Maybe, maybe three of them, maybe four. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Now, if this camera will behave, capsicums have got a, a mixture of yellow and green red. Obviously, green capsicum turns red normally. And here, been fighting off the bugs. They're all looking very healthy. Where are we? Very nice, very happy. Right, a mixture of stuff up here. Still got an old cabbage there. <laughs> now that's, there's nothing wrong with that. More tatsoi. As you can see up there, mainly tatsoi and lettuce. Uh, these cherry tomatoes, we're starting to, just starting to pick those. Uh, and some um, flat leaf parsley, Italian parsley. Let's have a look at these tomatoes. 
you can see them better from this side. Just starting to ripen. Don't know what happened with this one, but it was amongst the seeds and when I planted it, it just grew much bigger. So, we'll see what they are. There's one hiding inside there. Another one over there. Won't be long. Be eating this prolifically. All right, so that's about it for this tour. Thanks for watching, folks. And we'll see you on the next video, I guess. Bye.